Scraping an automating browser using Cloud Dev. Hello guys, today I want to share with you another experiment that I've conducted using Cloud Dev. For those of you who don't know, Cloud Dev is an easy to install Visual Studio Code extension that you can just add to Visual Studio and then you can easily use it in order to generate code. It uh, connects to LLMs. I highly recommend using Cloud Sonnet 3.5. Uh, my recent videos was about more about Cloud Dev. If you haven't seen them, check them out because I've been experimenting with it and producing pretty amazing results. In my recent video, I uploaded a, a method in which I combined Cloud Dev with Google Gemini. And the cool thing about Google, Google Gemini is the fact that you can record the videos and you can upload videos on, as context. So what I tested this time was I uploaded a video of myself browsing in Amazon, clicking on different buttons, and I wanted to see if Cloud Dev will be able to create a browser automation using Python or JavaScript to redo the automation. Now this is a this is just a small example of a browser automation that can be conducted if you build it manually using an RPA tool or using Puppeteer or using Selenium or Selenium base. But I wanted to see if I can use it with, build it with AI. One thing to mention is that uh, Microsoft Power Automate Desktop is already launched a feature that basically allows you to record a prompt and record a screen and then it generates the whole flow, the whole automation which is pretty accurate based on what I've seen, but they didn't release this new version to all uh, users yet. So this is coming soon, but I wanted to test it out on my own, like build something on my own. So I've uploaded a video and this was the prompt. I want to create a browser automation that will emulate all the action in this video. I don't need you to write the code, just write the, the pseudo algorithm Describe everything you see as if you're explaining what's happening in the video to a blind person. The most important thing is to describe the elements in a very detailed way, color and text. So this is the pseudo algorithm. So my first, my initial test was, was with Amazon, um, but it failed because Amazon very fast. I mean, as soon as you open a Python uh, automation using Chrome driver, it asks you to fill captcha. So instead of trying to solve the capture, which can be solved using Selenium base, I wanted to automate it, the browser using JavaScript. But when I used JavaScript code, um, I was also restricted. So I decided to move to a different website, which is probably doesn't have the same security measures such as Amazon, which is Bloody Elbow. It's a website for covering MMA stuff, which I, I used to go into, not anymore these days. So this, I recorded a video and this was Google Gemini wrote based on the video. So navigate to the website bloodyelbow.com. The website displays a list of UFC news articles with headlines, images, and auto names. Notice a search bar with a magnifying glass icon on the right and a search button next to it. The search button is grayed out. Click the magnifying glass. Then a small pop-up window appears below the search bar. It was it has a white background and a close button, an X in the circle in the left top corner and a text field with the word search inside. Let me show you how it looks like. So let's click this. As you can see, the close button, which it describes and the search, which it describes, you see here. Now enter the search term, type McGregor in the text field of the pop-up window as you type the search button next to the text field become active and turns red, which is incorrect because it only turns red when you hover above it, as you can see here. Now click the search button, navigate to the first post, verify the auto name. So these were the examples that I shared in the video. And then I took these instructions and I shared them with Cloud Dev and I asked it to write the code. The fail here, the problem here, was the fact that Cloud Dev isn't able to, it doesn't have vision capabilities. So it's not, it's not an, uh, an operating system AI agent at the moment. 
for example, Open Interpreter does have this ability, which you can basically, it takes a screenshot of your screen every, every few seconds, or I don't know, every millisecond. And based on this, it can, it can move the browser, the, the mouse to the specific page, to the specific element. So it can actually look for the magnifying glass. In this case, since I gave the prompt and I requested the code, Cloud Dev created the Python automation, but it didn't know how to describe the magnifying glass. And basically the automation failed and didn't um, select the magnifying glass. So I decided, okay, let's set this aside and let's not, let's not use anything related to vision. So what I did this time, I just asked um, Cloud Dev to take the website, scrape all the H1 tags, and pour them into an Excel file. And in this case, we don't need any vision capabilities. It is still very useful because let's say you're doing lead generation or you're doing research, you can basically type in whatever you want from Cloud Dev. Um, in this case, I wrote, um, I wrote that I wanted to scrape the H, can you just scrape the content of the URL and then create a CSV with all H1 tags? So I could also use, I could have also asked for all the emails in the, in the website, etc. And then what, this was the response. Certainly I understand that you want to change the task because initially I wanted to click on the search button, etc. Let's create a new script that scrapes the content of the URL and create a CSV file with all the H1 tags. We'll use the request library to fetch the web page content and beautiful soup to pass the HTML. It wrote the code and this was the initial output. So it failed and automatically Cloud Dev suggested an improvement. So basically the script ran successfully, but they didn't find any H1 tags on the web page. So it did a, a few adjustments. I'm not going over the adjustments, but the fact that it was done like without me even giving it any prompts was pretty amazing. Then it scrapes this stuff, like the whole HTML of the URL. And it said, it appears that the website is using a complex structure or JavaScript to render its content, which our simple scraper can't handle effectively. The HTML we're receiving doesn't contain any H1 tags or tags with classes containing H1. To address this, we have a few options. Use a more sophisticated scraping method. Investigate if the website has an API. Look for alternative HTML. So first of all, it's, it is suggested to try option free, as it's the simplest to implement. So it adjusted the code, and then the output was as follows. This was the output. And it said, I found 11 possible main headings. So UFC news many times, UFC events. And then it said the script has successfully found and extracted main headings from the website. It looks like we've captured the main sections of the website, including UFC news, UFC events, boxing, MA news, and features. Now that we have the data, let's take a look at the contents of the CSV file to make sure it's been saved correctly. And then it created the CSV, it, it actually read the CSV which it created before. I didn't create the CSV on my own. The CSV file has been successfully created and it contains the main headings we find in the website. However, there are a few issues that, can that um, we can address to improve the output. There are duplicates entries for the UFC news uh, one of the entries contains a lot of article titles and content, which might not be what we want in our main headings. So Claude Dev asked for permission to edit the file, and then it ran the command and it fixed the file. And we have a file. Let's see, let's try to open this file, which contains these headings. As you can see here and I didn't even create the file. Okay, that's it for today, guys. Um, short video. I wanted also to share a few failures and how I tried to work around the, I wouldn't say failures, but you know, sometimes the uh, YouTubers, they don't show the process or they omit 
all the tests that I did in order to get to the final process, to the final result. But I wanted to share with you the whole process because I think that there are many learnings from this process that can be taken into uh, account. Eventually, uh, I was able to take a simple prompt, add it to the Cloud Dev extension and have Cloud Dev create a scraper for me. In this instance, it only scraped all the H1s of a website, but we can, could have probably did many other um, interesting things, scraping emails, etc. Obviously, this is pretty easy. I can also do it on my own without using Cloud Dev, but uh, still Cloud Dev streamlines the process. And my initial goal was a bit more complex using like uh, browser automation and combining with the video instructions. This didn't work out today, but I have a few ideas of how this can be implemented and improved next time. So stay tuned. If you guys enjoyed, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Obviously, leave in the comment section your thoughts, any ideas for improvement. I always welcome feedback, whether it's uh, positive or negative. And yeah, I guess that's it for today. Until next time, keep on automating.